500. Do you remember I did the, um, was it the last video? Yeah, it was the last video. The last video. We did the GoTech. Put it in here. <clears throat> Plugged in the back, DF1. With the ribbon run back in to the floppy drive. It's an easy mod. I don't want anything sticking out of it. <sighs> this past week, normally I'll post two videos up a week. I haven't posted up one up midweek. The reason was I've been spending a lot of time. One waiting for this to come through the post. Two when it did. I'm trying to figure out the pins. So I'm trying to find a decent pin out on Google. Figuring out which pin does which. Which is just something that you probably can't see. I've put two white marks on the cable. It's pin 10, which is select for the floppy. So what we're going to have to do to get this to work, this ribbon will be internal. I'd have liked it a little bit shorter. I mean, a <laughs> long cable from there to there. So that'll be in DF0. That'll go into the floppy. And that goes to GoTech. GoTech's not that far away. <laughs> I ain't got a crimping tool for this, so... It's going to have to be for now. What I can do is I can fold it up on itself and it shortens it. I'm going to have to do it that way. I'm not invested in a crimping tool for that, just for one job. Chances are I'll never use it again. So yeah, so what we need to do is from pin 10 here we need to split this. Split it there and split it there. And then it'll come from DF0 up. It'll go to a switch that external switch we've already got plugged in there it will go to the switch it'll come back down to this and it'll go back in to there back into pin 10 now I'm going to flick the switch again it'll close that circuit here up here and open up the top one which will come along and come back down and join onto the other end of the taking it that way to the GoTech end that should work I think and if you're seeing this video, it worked. If you're not seeing this video, then obviously it didn't work and it blew up. I'm doing it so you don't have to. It's <laughs> a shame. My little beauty is the um, test dummy. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Now it's late at night. It's about 8 o'clock, I think. Yeah, something like that. But now I've figured it out over the past couple of days making sure that's the right way to do it because I was going to design a board if you remember but because of the pin out having to go both ways it would be impossible to solder onto a board like that so the easiest way is to use your ribbon cable just split it just hope you cut the right cable which is number 10 so yeah so watch me blow it up and then you know not to do that I guess. <laughs> oh, another reason I was busy is that picture there, an oil painting. I've been Rolf Harris, Bob Ross, definitely not Rolf Harris, Bob Ross. I've been Bob Rossing myself to death the past few days. You're not here to see oil paintings. Anymore. So, yeah, so let's get on with this. So, we want to keep that right, on the switch cable here. We're going to have to find out which pins are going which way. And then we're going to wire them onto this rune. Well, solder them onto the rim. So that when you flick the switch, it goes to GoTech, flick it again, it goes to the floppy. Right. And the other thing we need to do, we need that and um, the other one. We need that and that to be as one. Another Spice Girls song, be as one. Is it the Spice Girls? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, so we're going to have a wide cable, so that'll go to the floppy, that'll go to the GoTech, and that'll go to DF0. So I could have done that now, couldn't I? We'll do that, and then we'll do the ribbon cable. Right, so we need to whoosh, this out of the way. Eight. Eight. What I was going to do, see these little silver bits here? If you poke a small like pointer, tiny flathead in there, push it in gently, 
then you can pull that out and the whole unit comes out, well the whole pin comes out. I was going to do that and then snip this off and solder the ends onto the pins but I don't think that hole's big enough for two cables. So we're going to have to cut that off, cut that off, then solder the whole thing all back together with that on the. I could splice the top off of these and just solder directly onto them. But then you can't get heat sink on them. So the best bet is just to cut them and do it that way. So we'll cut as much off as that and right to the end. Yeah. So now we've got one end ready to plug, one end stripped. Camera, me. One end stripped. I'm going to do similar to this, but we're going to leave, I'm going to cut about here rather than right at the end. That way, if we cut here, we can strip these off, strip these off, and then join them again with them on. But remember, they have to go the same way. Then you go in one way in there. So those cables, pin one, has to join pin one here. And then two, three, four, two, three, four. Otherwise, things are going to go sparky. Well, they probably won't, they'll probably just not work. You see, I left quite a bit. So now I'm going to strip these so I can get to them. Do the same to this end. Uh, with all the end of the cables, you need to give them all a twist. You know, just twist them. It closes up all the strands. That way, when you solder them, they're all pretty much fine, they're not sprayed out. Looking like the end of a paintbrush. Right. Wide cable. Just hope it's long enough. <laughs> it don't look longer. It might be, I don't know. Soon find out. So we can get this back off. So basically, that goes to DF0 on the board. And then it splits off, one to the floppy, one to the go tank. Um, so DF0, DF0 the socket CM12. That goes to the floppy. That only just fits. <laughs> it was a bit close, wasn't it? <laughs> battery. Anyway, works. So we'll do it again because the battery went out. I was talking to you and yeah, long thing, talk to myself. Yeah. So the fluffy. Oh, go tech. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect the floppy drip. I'm going to disconnect the ribbon from the GoTech and connect it to the floppy. Flick this switch because it's still connected with that um, switch on the CIA chip. Switchboard on the CIA chip. I think that still affects it anyway. So. Alright, turn this off. Get that off. Connect this up. All we need to do now is take the ribbon off of here for the go tank. All this plugging in and plugging out, it's not doing the connection any good. That goes into there. <coughs> right, fingers crossed. No way to click. Yep. Sweet. So that's the internal power. So it's internal now. Remember when we had the board on there, it was plugged into there, one on the power for the floppy, as well as the ribbon. Now it's all internal, on the Y cable we've just made. Cool. So, I'm not gonna do it tonight. Just getting the light, it's like half eight now. Tomorrow, I can make a start on this. 
I'll see you in a second. Morning. We've got to cut uh, Pintem. Cut it. Right. So, yeah. so it's well done. That's pin ten. Yeah, yeah. Select zero. On here. <coughs> That's what sends the signal to the floppy drive. Select zero. Tells the floppy drive to activate. So if we cut that, then we'll cut here, then we'll bridge it with a two way switch. When it sent, when it sends the signal to say, "Hey, I need some information off your floppy," the switch will be on floppy. It'll go directly to the floppy. And then when we flick the switch, and we send the same signal again. Hey, I need some information off your floppy. Because we flick the switch, let's open that bridge and close the other one to the GoTech, which means it'll go to the GoTech instead. And say, "Hey." I need some information. Uh, that's a theory, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Cutting, doing them. You're probably scratching your heads, wondering why I haven't used the power. I've got the power. The problem with that is the computer doesn't need power to know that there's a floppy there. It knows there's a floppy there once the floppy's plugged in through the rim. A select signal is the one that tells. The Mega, hey, I've got a floppy installed here. Let's get some information off of it. Cutting the power, the 12 volt or the 5 volt, ain't gonna make any difference. It'll still know there's a floppy there. So having them both will just confuse the hell out of it when they're both plugged in on one ribbon. So you have to use the Select Zero. Yeah, I hope. I have tried the power. That's what I've been doing the past three days. I'm all painting. But yeah, trying to figure out if it's the power, what the computer says, I've got a floppy attached, or is it the cable? Well, apparently, it's the cable. I'm going to select zero, which is pin 10. I hope it's pin 10. So we've got one there, one there, one here. So I'm just going to tint this one. Piece of wire, it's got three prongs. One, two, three. And go. Yellow. No, nope, hello, sun's out. Remember when you've stripped your cable, give them a twist. Tighten up the twine a bit. Quick dab in the old tin powder. Just run it up and down. Same again. Same again. So we'll say purple will be our yellow on this power here. Can you see it? Yeah, so we're going to say purple is pin one, which is yellow. So we're going to treat this one, which is the first one in from DF0, as pin one. I think. Yeah. 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 Before I do anything, a little sleeve of heat shrink. On each one. So that is pin one. In it now. A bit of solder on it. Like that. On that. I know I'm jumping the gun here a bit, but you know, I should test it really. But hey, I've got faith in myself. Have faith. I should plug this in really for sure before we start wiring it. I'll tell you one thing, I will be glad if this works. I won't have to unplug these ribbon cables anymore. So I'll change my mind, do something else. Right, what did we say pin one was? Purple. Did we? Yeah. That's the main one. Oh, I don't know what. 
Right. Moment of test. Moment of test. Moment of truth. Right. You ready? Go text little, but it's not doing anything. Floppy's on. Yeah. <coughs> right. Then we'll flick the switch. Give it a reset. See what it does then. That didn't blow up. Should get go to yeah. <laughs> it didn't blow up, so it's a bonus. I was doubting myself. Yeah. You don't doubt yourself. You don't doubt yourself. It's negative living. You don't want to do that. Yeah, advanced tank destroy. Oh, I've never played this game either. Yeah. Put you down there a minute. About from there. <sighs> Stupid game you give me out of tank. There you go. Cable management at its finest. Right, so run on go to. Oh, yeah. I'm going to flick the switch again. I could have given it. Poppy. Floppy drive. <laughs> All in one case. Without the um, extension on the back. Yeah. So, that's how you wire a GoTech and a floppy internally. Yeah. One easy to figure out. They did have it. Yeah. They had its ups and downs. We got there in the end, which is good. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I won't be doing that again, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up or down. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop us a comment. Have a chat. Hands up, you got PS5 ordered. Yeah, I got one. Day one release. Anyway. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Yeah.